With the summer travel season here, many of you will be heading to the beach or the mountains or some other family friendly destination. Years ago, that destination for many families was Ghost Town in Maggie Valley. Now Midland, Re Midland residents made the drive to the mountain town to get a glimpse of the Old West. And while that amusement park is now closed, Ghost Town is still there and there's talk of bringing it back. News 19's J.R. Barry has the details. What you're looking at is what's left of Ghost Town in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. When Ghost Town first opened, it was a huge attraction for this area, bringing people from all over the southeast. Uh, they wanted to experience the, the Wild West, but in the mountains of, of North Carolina. But time hasn't been kind to Ghost Town. Over the years, the park is open and closed several times, never quite being able to recreate the magic of yesteryear. All that's left now are rotting buildings, old amusement rides, and memories of better days. It's been several years since the park was actually opened and maintained. And over those years, there's been damage from, from Mother Nature that's happened to the park. And unfortunately, we have had people that have come up with bad intentions that have done vandalism to the park. Dave Angel is a former member of the Maggie Valley Chamber of Commerce, and he lives just outside the gates of Ghost Town. He's constantly catching trespassers on the property, some sightseeing, others looking for a souvenir of sorts. In fact, while we were there, nearly a dozen trespassers were told to leave. Hundreds of people are arrested every year. Hundreds of cars are towed every year from the park because it, it is private property and we want to preserve it for the future. Preserve it for the future? Does that mean Ghost Town is making a comeback? Well, that remains to be seen. A developer wants to reopen Ghost Town with a nod to its past, but also keeping today's generation in mind. And he's hired Matt Ferguson with Storyland Studios to get the ball rolling. Our team at Storyland Studios is a group of former Disney Imagineers and Universal Creative folks, and uh, we now get to create theme parks and experiences for other organizations. And really at the core of everything we do is storytelling. So we don't want to just have rides that people hop on that are standard and can be found everywhere. We want attractions that really speak to the story of the region, the beautiful Maggie Valley uh, region and the surrounding Smoky Mountains, as well as the Old West heritage that, uh, that Ghost Town gives a nod to. It would be the shot in the arm that Maggie Valley needs. It literally has almost become a ghost town. Sally Blanton is a co-owner of the Five Star Inn in Maggie Valley. She says while reopening Ghost Town would do wonders for the economy, it would also give those who experienced the theme park years ago a chance to make new memories. The number of people that have posted on Facebook and social media how much they wish it would come back um, they would love to share the memories they had with their children, with their grandchildren, and it would be what Maggie Valley needs. And we caught up with a former park visitor who agrees. I'm 68 years old now, but I came up here when I was just a little boy back in the early 60s. And the gunfights were so real. And Frontierland, seeing the Indians, it was so real. If it would come back, my family would definitely come back. It's like bringing the old west here. And if Ghost Town were to eventually reopen, there's hope that Midlands residents will make the trip to Maggie Valley again, just like many of us did in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We obviously know that a market for us is the Midlands area. In fact, coming up 26 out of Columbia, South Carolina, you see a sign on the side of the road that says, come experience the magic of Maggie Valley. Uh, we, we've always recognized that as one of our key markets and guests that we love to see come to this area on a regular basis. And we're being told that if the project to revive the ghost town is successful, it would be about four to five years before the gates to the park would reopen once again. 